And how amazing is this that it appears to be Tingana and he's not on the very last minute. I'm so excited. We were just very, very lucky. I think he heard all of our prayers because he was just busy walking on the road. That is pretty amazing. I'm just going to go around so that we can have a good look at him. I am so excited we've managed to fight the gremlins off, at least to come and have this beautiful view from this guy over here. Now, I don't want to move too much because I'm not too sure if he's actually going to start coming down or if the gremlins are going to attack us. So I think maybe we should enjoy the sighting for now. <gasps> But you can see just how quickly the wind is moving all the grass around him and it seemed like he caught a scent in the air something that was quite interesting so he was definitely putting his head up and sniffing around and it almost started walking very very slowly towards the mound so there could be a potential prey species around here we haven't managed to spot anything around but i'm pretty sure that that's what he's going to be looking at Rocky, you'd like to know what would happen if Shangile met Tingana. Well, a number of things could happen. If he deems that she is not a suitable mating partner, um, he could kill her because she is still quite a young leopard. Or he could just also, if, you know, as Shangile gets older, he could potentially try and mate with her when she first comes uh, into estrus. It is definitely a possibility, but I think Shangila is also just trying to stay clear of any potential leopard. Oh, isn't this a sight? I think we've been quite, uh, quite lucky with leopards today. Oh, hello. Turn on to this side. Hmm. I wonder, I'm sure he feels like he's quite hidden up in there uh, amongst all the tall grass and if, you know, you can imagine how easily, now that you see it from a bit more of a distance, how easily it is to miss him. And just uh, as easy as it is for us not to see it, then it's also quite easy for the, um, for the prey species and everybody else around to miss him. So it's quite a, <laughs> quite a good spot that he chose around there. Same as Shangila this morning with the wind. I think they're looking at something. Obviously their senses are, are a bit more heightened uh, and more acute than ours. So I think he's surveying his territory. He was just scent marking all around the road. So as we were following, uh, as we were following him and you know fighting the gremlins off, and I, again I apologize um, for that he didn't seem to be too bothered and then all of a sudden he got here and you know there was something there that caught his attention hmm. all right, i think maybe now that he seems to be quite happy up there maybe we're gonna try and see if we can have a look at his face so i'm gonna move and hopefully we'll be able to to have a look from his face because i'm sure there's a bit of an open gap just ahead of us and I would really like to just to see him my goodness definitely gonna go I'll keep all the tree juju mojo good luck charms going they seem to work <laughs> You're wondering if the leopard, cheetah, and tiger are as um, well. I'm not too sure about the ones in a tiger. I would imagine them as the same as the guys here, but no, not necessarily as asymmetrical. There we go. I think. Can you see him from the? There we go. All right, sorry guys. There we go. Up in a termite mount. Ah, 
somebody's gone off to slip sleep now. <laughs> well, look at that. Hello, boy. He is quite a stunning individual. He's looking quite in good condition. Unfortunately, um, when I don't know if you guys managed to have enough of a look while we were moving in when we first spotted him. Seems to be quite healthy and looking quite all right. So good for him. And if this is indeed Tingana, very happy to see him now. I think maybe <laughs> just proving us that we can't really predict the movements of any animal I think maybe he's just now decided to show us who's really the boss and that he'll appear and disappear as much as he wants to because maybe he didn't like the nickname he has moved quite a bit because last time we saw him was in the completely northern side of the property and now we are pretty much basically on the southern side of the property so quite a bit of a distance no doubt that he is claiming to be the king of Juma Amazing, look at that. Our beard, you're wondering if leopard if leopards groom themselves like domestic cats. Um yes, yes they do. Their tongues. I don't know if you've got a domestic cat and you've ever had your cat lick you and it's a very rough tongue. So the tongue of a leopard is pretty similar or pretty much the same. They've got little papilla, little almost like little spots in their tongue that make them rough and it's a bit rougher than a human tongue and they've got a specialized tongue in the sense that this because there are so many fractions in between each or space in between each each and every single one of these papillae in their tongue they are able to clean themselves and that's what they use to get out all of the extra loose hair or the or the um, what you call it the dirt and what else could they have? Blood, meat when they start eating. So pretty much the same as a, a domestic cat. We're going to see if the king decides to wake up from his slumber. But in the meantime, let's go to Taylor. Oh, seems like Taylor's could run away. So all good. We don't mind staying around here. I'm sure Taylor will do a fantastic job in finding a different one. And hopefully she'll be able to find... Who knows, maybe all those lion tracks that she was looking at. I think all of the animals are being quite funny today. And I wouldn't be surprised that he actually went all the way up there just <laughs> because it's warm. Seems like the wind has finally calmed down. He's got a bit of... Ah. No, was I saying horrible things about you being sleepy? <laughs> he definitely heard something that I didn't hear somewhere around this area, which is prove that even when they're sleeping they're always quite alert even if it's a, at a subconscious level of what's going on around them so they'll wake up very quickly especially if they feel like there's something that another potential predator around here perhaps an elephant in the distance so their heads will get up and quickly scan the area and if he deems that there's nothing to really worry about then he'll go uh, back to sleep but it seems like maybe something in the east has caught his eye I love it how they think that we can't see him. This is, I'm sure, the way that they do it a lot of the times. But how wonderful of him to come up on this termite mound. I think this is probably the most iconic view of a leopard, typical on top of a termite mound. I absolutely love it. Jeremiah, you wonder if they get hair bulbs like normal cats. Um, well, I've never seen one regurgitate one like sometimes normal cats do, but we do find a lot of hair in their dung. So I'm not too sure if they actually share this trait. I would imagine they do, but I would have to go and, and do slightly more research about it because I do know that they eat quite a bit of hair when they're grooming themselves because whenever we find their scat, um, there's... A lot of hair that belongs well not only to them but to whatever it is that they they've eaten so I'm not too sure to be honest I don't think they would be too different to domestic cats in that regard they seem to share a lot of other basic traits with them as well 
but definitely not like in the cartoons when you see um, you know a domestic cat just pretty much opening its mouth and then this massive ball rolling out of them that I don't think does happen um, out here in the wild I'm just so surprised I mean we just came across the right road at the right time and we were just so lucky to catch him on his patrol I wonder if I think Taylor had tracks for a male leopard this morning, not too far from the general area where Shungile was seen. So I wonder if he's also been up a tree somewhere or, you know, hiding in between the grasses. And now that the temperatures started to drop and the wind has also died down, that's when he decided to, to start moving around. It would be interesting to, to see if we were able to follow him from the beginning, just at roughly what time and where he came from. It's always a mystery. Where did the leopard go? Where did the leopard come from? Seems like the king of some of the leopards in this area has decided to go to sleep. So we're gonna stick around here for a little while longer, see if he does decide to wake up. But in the meantime, let's go to Taylor, who's at Buffalo. Damn, I wonder what there is there.